Hi everyone and welcome to Finish Your Plate. Spinach pancakes or pinatilatut or pinatilatut, depending which part of Finland you're from, are a common everyday dinner item in Finland. Traditionally, they're just served with some potatoes and some lingonberry jam. But they've experienced somewhat of a revival now with people looking more healthy and more vegetable eating options. So I'm going to show you also a more modern way that's stuffed with some mushrooms and some cottage cheese. So join me and I'll show you how to make this Finnish everyday classic. To make spinach pancakes, yeah, of course you need spinach. I have here some frozen spinach. You could of course use regular fresh spinach too, but then you have to wilt it first. So you skip a step by using frozen spinach. Another popular variation in Finland is instead of using spinach, you use nettles that you picked yourself. Of course, with nettles, since they do have the stalks that sting you, you have to be careful when picking them. Obviously, after you wilt them, they're not going to be stinging you anymore. But I'm going to be using the frozen spinach in this case. I'm going to use about 150 grams, about half a package of what I have. I also have here two eggs, about three deciliters of all-purpose flour, five deciliters of milk, about three tablespoons of oil, and then one teaspoon each of salt and sugar. So first, I'm just gonna crack my eggs in here, and then just whisk them a little, just to break them apart. And now I'll add my milk, my oil, salt and sugar. And now I will add the flour. Just everything in there. We're going to mix this up and just get all the lumps out. And now I will just cut my spinach in half. Now that the spinach has defrosted so it, it can kind of break apart, I'm just going to squeeze some of the liquid out of it because there's quite a lot of liquid in here. And we're going to mix this in with our batter. Now we'll just give this one more mix just to make sure all the frozen lumps of spinach have been broken apart. Now we're going to let this sit and hydrate for about 15-20 minutes. So now our batter has hydrated. So I'm going to make small pancakes, which is one of the more classic ways of serving this dish. Just going to turn on my heat. And we're going to put just a little bit of butter or oil in the little wells. There we go. And now we're going to fry some pancakes. So this is one of the more classic ways of preparing them. And now let's prepare them a little bit more modern way. We'll take our frying pan, turn on the heat, and we'll add a little bit of butter here as well. 
squish that around. And we're going to make a big pancake this time. More like a crepe. Turn that around. And over here, I have some mushroom and onion that I cooked earlier. Just some onions and mushrooms that I fried for a little bit. And then I added some sour cream to them. And of course, salt and pepper. And now that our pancake is starting to firm up, we're just going to add just a little bit of this stuffing here. and some cottage cheese. Now comes the tricky part where I need to fold this over, hopefully without breaking it at least too much. There we go. And now we're ready to plate this. The classic version, we're just going to serve with a couple of potatoes, just a little bit of sour cream, or you could make a white sauce to go with the potatoes. And some lingonberry jam. And then just a few pieces of scallion for garnish. And the modern version really doesn't need much more. Just a little bit of garnish. Just to remember the tradition, just add a little bit of lingonberry jam on this one as well. And here we go. Finish spinach pancakes two ways. First more traditional way, served with some boiled potatoes and some lingonberry jam. And then a more modern way, served more like a crepe, stuffed with some mushrooms, onions, and some cottage cheese. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Finish Your Plate.